Hi, this is Joe and welcome back to the shop and thank you for coming back for another video. There's a lot of videos out on YouTube that talk about rejuvenating lithium-ion batteries. How to charge them, how to discharge them, how to determine their capacity. From playing around doing these operations myself, I've come up with a couple of interesting ways of charging and bringing back to life really, really dead lithium-ion cells. I'm going to show you the way I do it uh, with a couple of tips that I've picked up by uh, just playing around. Uh, so let's get started. I harvest a lot of my lithium-ion cells from dead power tool battery packs. Here on my desk I have four cells and I know they're all below one volt. Let's go ahead and measure them and show you uh, what they're reading. The first one as you can see is right around 110, 111 millivolts. Second one is about 100 millivolts. Third one is way down. It's 80, about 83 millivolts. And the fourth one is the highest and it's uh, about 476 millivolt which is just below a half, half a volt. So all of these cells are pretty dead. When a lithium ion cell is this low what you have to do to bring it back to life is you have to politely shock it back into existence. I started out making a, uh, I have a 18650 cell holder. By the way, if you don't know, these are 18650 cells. What that means is it's 18 millimeters in diameter and 65 millimeters in length. All the cells are given a designation that closely resemble their size. So I took this uh, cell holder and I wired it up to a 6 volt 800 milliamp adapter, power adapter, and then tried to bring these cells up high enough that uh, you have to get them close to three volts before they can be uh, rejuvenated. So uh, I tried this and it didn't work very well. And the reason why it didn't work very well is because we're only using 800 milliamps of current. What I found through trial and error and playing around, that in order to rejuvenate the cell, you have to shock it with about 4 amps of current uh, with a voltage of 4.2 or slightly higher. So let's go ahead, I'll show you how I do that. There's some precautions you have to take along the way. Lithium ion cells can, under the right circumstances, vent and possibly catch things on fire. So there is some precautions. I'll let you know what those precautions are. Let me show you how I rejuvenate the batteries uh, using a slightly different technique. On the left of the screen I have a DC power supply that goes up to 10 amps with a maximum of 30 volts. As you can see I have a constant voltage set of 4.23 volts but actually I have this set up for a constant current of just about 4 amps. You don't see any current now because we're actually not pushing any current through a battery. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I set this up and I'll show you how I uh, shock these uh, batteries politely back into life. I have a couple of magnets here. I have the leads attached to the magnet. Now when I turn on the power, what you're going to see now is constant current of about 4 amps. And notice the voltage. The voltage is starting to increase. Now you can do this operation. Currently I do this one battery at a time. Do not allow this battery to sit like this unattended. You could cause a fire. What you do is as you're doing this you want to come over and touch the battery. Make sure the battery does not get hot. It will get warm but you do not want it to get hot. That's an indication that the battery could be shorted out and is no good. We only want to do this operation for a minute or two. 
so just keep on feeling the battery. Uh, because the voltage is now up around 4.16 and stabilizing a little bit, it's still increasing. Uh, we're going to do this for a little bit more. We want to try to get the the battery voltage up above 3 volts and at that point then I can use a charge discharge. I use the Lito Kala which I ordered through Amazon. You can also order it online through AliExpress on the Lito Kala website on AliExpress. Let's go ahead check that temperature. That battery, battery is not getting hot at all so chances are uh, this is a good battery. Also the voltage is setting up around 4.15 volts so it's looking like it's going to charge okay. Let's go ahead and stop the power supply and let's put a meter on this battery to check its voltage now. You notice the voltage on the battery is 2.7 volts. Let's go ahead and try putting it in the uh, the charger now. The battery is just slightly warm. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change this to a normal test. What that's going to do is that's going to charge up the battery to its maximum amount then it's going to totally discharge the battery in order to determine its capacity uh, at that point it will charge it up again fully as you can see now it's up 2.81 volts you won't get any milliamp hour reading until it does the discharge cycle uh, we are getting that it's uh, 47 milliohms at this point which is the internal battery uh, resistance so as you can see now it does appear to be charging and the voltage is going up if the voltage starts dropping it means that you haven't shocked the battery enough again you should have that battery voltage up just slightly either above or below three volts and I've I found that if you if it starts decreasing in voltage you need to shock it a bit more so let's go ahead and uh, let's do another battery here show you and we'll get all these uh, going and then over time I'll show you how we'll discharge and measure the capacity of these batteries The second battery is now climbing in voltage and we're at uh, uh, currently again just uh, slightly over uh, 4 amps of current, constant current here. So we're let this set again. Always check the battery. You do not want that battery to get hot. It's okay if it just gets a little warm and again we're only looking a minute to two minutes here on the uh, power supply. But as you can see the voltage is now up to 4.16 that is a good sign if that voltage does not climb there's a good indication that the battery is just dead if the battery is dead dead no matter how much you do this it's not going to revive but if the voltage starts climbing there's a pretty good chance that the battery has enough life left that you can uh, then run a charge and discharge and once you get that di discharge capacity you can then determine if the battery is uh, is good or bad usually what I do is after I do a discharge charge discharge and charge test I let the battery I mark what the uh, current is and the voltage is and then I let it set for a couple weeks and then I'll measure it if the voltage doesn't drop at that point then pretty much you have a battery that can continue its life being cycled through the rest of its uh, life so we're up 4.25 or, or almost uh, well, dropped back down a little bit here as you can see the battery voltage is up now to about 4.17 volts if I feel the battery it's a little warm but it's a not not hot so let's go ahead and stop the charging and let's measure this particular battery
notice we're 3.3 volts which is good enough now we can stick it in the uh, charge discharger and again we want to put that on the normal test there's the status of the first battery there's the status of the second battery so you just keep on repeating the same steps of shocking the battery getting the vo uh, initial voltage up to just over three volts and then you can go ahead and put it in the the Lito Kala battery charger discharger and continue on let's go ahead and do the rest of the batteries we now have four batteries in a normal test state at this point I can uh, leave this unattended this will more than likely run all evening and possibly finish uh, its charge discharge testing uh, by tomorrow morning we'll come back at that point and we'll check the capacities and det determine uh, which is a good battery which is a bad battery but at this point it's looking pretty good for all four of these it's now the next morning all of the uh, batteries have been uh, charged discharged and then recharged again let's go through and check the first battery is 4.20 volts 1177 milliamp hours I've checked the specs on these batteries and they're 1500 milliamp hours that's the first battery the second battery is 4.19 volts 1194 milliamp hours the third battery is 1586 milliamp hours 4.19 volts and the fourth battery is 4.19 volts 1211 milliamp hours so a few of these batteries are a little bit less than full capacity one is actually pretty good at 1586 milliamp hours as you noticed I've written the specs of the voltage and milliamp hour rating on the batteries at this point I'm going to take them out and I'm going to let them sit for a couple weeks and then I'll go back and I'll check the uh, the static voltage to make sure they haven't decreased uh, if they haven't decreased then these batteries are good to use uh, in another project so hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time